So I recently found this awesome Zoom H2 handy portable recorder. It's really nice because it can do quad channel uncompressed PCM audio in 44 kilohertz and it can also do dual channel uncompressed 96 kilohertz. It's got the headphone jack, volume control, external microphone, line input. You can also use it as a USB microphone on your computer if you need an extra mic. Unfortunately, the previous owner left the batteries in for a long time and they have leaked all through the battery case. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to clean nasty corroded leaked batteries. First what you're going to need is some vinegar. Any type of vinegar should work. A toothbrush will help a lot. I've got my cleaning toothbrush here. Some gloves and some paper towel. So let's get started and clean the nasty leaked potassium hydroxide out of this audio recorder. Alright, so first we're going to remove the batteries themselves. Get rid of those. Definitely also want to wear some safety glasses or glasses in general just in case you flick some of this. You don't want to get it in your eyes. I'm going to use a small bowl to hold the vinegar so that I don't contaminate the rest of the vinegar. Just pour a little bit in there, you don't need much. What this reaction is going to do is it's going to take the acetic acid and the potassium hydroxide and react to make potassium acetate and water. It immediately will foam up and come right off. Sure to get all of the leaked nasty. Try not to drip too much vinegar inside of the device. And there we go. Paper towel. Dab it all around inside there. Get it nice and dried out. Make sure we get any remains of the potassium hydroxide out of the battery compartment. That looks pretty good. Also you want to remember to clean the battery cover too. You can put a little bit of vinegar right on the paper towel. Dry that off. I'm going to just leave them both to dry for a little bit and we should be good to use it. Look at that, all nice and clean. Alright, it's had some time to dry out so now we're going to put in some fresh batteries. Case back on. And it works just fine. Awesome! Now you know how to clean a device if it has nasty leak batteries inside of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like if they found this helpful. And I'll see you again soon with many other random videos.